Exploring new AFM operation modes does not require a brand new microscope. In this video, you will see how a Zurich instrument like an amplifier can enable different imaging methods in your atomic force microscope, this time focusing on Calvin Probe Force Microscopy, or KPFM for short. With this, welcome to the Zurich Instruments channel. I am Kavanch and will guide you through the setup and workflow. KPFM allows us to study nanostructure's electronic properties by quantifying the contact potential difference between the AFM tip and sample. The cantilever is mechanically excited at its first eigen mode while monitoring its vertical deflection. In most commercial microscopes, the AFM controller does this and captures the surface topography in parallel. To enable the KPFM methods on this nanosurflex AFM, we connect a Zurich instrument like an amplifier. The workflow is very similar for most microscopes. Typically, a signal breakout board is needed for easy access to signals like the cantilever's vertical deflection signal. It also enables the Lekin amplifier to drive AC electrical excitation signal and DC bias voltage of the tip or the sample. We already approached the conductive tip to a sample with aluminum islands on a gold substrate. So we are ready to configure the Lekin amplifier for the KPFM with the included control software Lab1. We start to determine the cantilever's eigenmodes by monitoring the deflection signal in the frequency domain with the oscilloscope tool. The first eigenmode F0 corresponds to the mechanical excitation from the AFM controller. Here we also see the second eigenmode of the cantilever F1. Now we have several options to implement KPFM. The most straightforward approach is probably the amplitude modulated KPFM where the electrical excitation is performed at the second eigenmode and coupled from the mechanical excitation. We perform a frequency sweep to determine the center frequency and line width of this eigenmode. Then we characterize the open loop transfer function by sweeping the DC bias voltage. To measure the contact potential difference, we have to apply the correct DC bias voltage to cancel this component. Thanks to the linearity of the in-phase component, we configure one of the built-in PID controllers to do this. There is one caveat to AMKPFM though. The large stray capacitance from the tip and cantilever geometry can limit the special resolution. But there is a great alternative. KPFM methods based on frequency modulation. They are sensitive to the force gradient and require phase-sensitive detection of the mechanical and electrical drive. For FM sideband KPFM in particular, the electrical excitation happens at a lower frequency FM and we recover the information of interest by analyzing the resulting sidebands F0 plus minus FM. For this method, the PID controller determines the DC bias voltage necessary to suppress these sidebands. Although it provides better spatial resolution, the FM sideband KPFM can suffer from the reduced signal to noise ratio. To balance the limitations of AM KPFM and FM sideband KPFM, a good compromise is FM heterodyne KPFM. The electrical excitation frequency is tuned so that the sideband matches the second eigenmode. Since it is at the resonance, the signal to noise ratio improves while keeping the force gradient sensitivity. If you are not sure which methods fits your sample the best, try them. Save the configuration and just switch between them without repeating the implementation process. Capturing the measurement results and building up images synchronized with the AFM scan is possible with Lab1's data acquisition module. As a result, we have an entire stack of images, each carrying unique information about the sample. And most important, they are perfectly aligned since they were all recorded simultaneously in one run. Also, we can feed the measured contact potential difference back to the AFM controller with the Lakin amplifier's auxiliary outputs. Then we can compare both side by side, the NanoSurf and Lab1 software. There you have it, the workflow to enable various KPFM methods for single pass imaging using Zurich instruments like an amplifier. Thanks to the multiple demodulators for direct, simultaneous carrier and sideband detection and multiple feedback controllers integrated into the same instrument, Zurich instruments like an amplifier provide the required control and precision. Interested? Get in touch. We will be happy to help you to find the best configuration for your application. Thank you for watching.